Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. I'm back and filming videos <laughs> again. Unfortunately, Cassie couldn't make it today, but today we're going to be doing a video on our least used designer bags in our collection and why. So if you're interested to see which bags that we aren't really using in our collection, just keep on watching. The first one I have on my list is this one here. So for those of you who don't know, we did a video about this and how I got it and when I got it. Basically the story behind it was I got it for my 21st birthday from my mum. I love this bag. I think it's super cute. The colour as well is just a really, really versatile colour that kind of suits everything. But I just don't really use it. The style is a bit too dressy for me sometimes. I don't know. What do you think? Um, for me, <laughs> I just it's just not my kind of style or type definitely of bag. I don't. I can't see myself using. I find it too small for my liking. But it's definitely it, too small. Yeah. I mean, it fits my phone and it fits kind of everything I need. Um, especially the zip as well. I do find that it gets stuck sometimes and it's really quite difficult to get in and out of so that's probably one of the main reasons why I don't use this bag. I mean it's a really good leather, it's really durable, it's that Safiano kind of scratch proof leather but I just haven't really gravitated towards this one and I guess maybe it's because I bought this bag when I was quite young so yeah. I've maybe moved away from that kind of style now but I mean I still love this bag and I don't plan on getting rid of it. And I think it just holds so much sentimental value yeah. for you that yeah, yeah. it's just so going to stay in your collection. It will. It's not something that you're going to reach for yeah. very often. It's so cute. <laughs> it it's adorable. <laughs> so one of my least used bags is this YSL. It's the new Small Kate in the colour Powder. So I bought this bag as a wedding bag because <laughs> um, I just needed something that was a little bit fancier and dressier. And probably just based on my situation right now, I've got no weddings to go to. And even then, like, nobody's going to get married, like, every single week or yeah. something. And I also just find that just the kind of style, it's super boxy. Like, it does fit my phone and fit, like, a bunch of other things that I would mm. use on the weekend. But it's way too dressy to be something that I reach for regularly. It's a good size. Though. It's a really good yeah. size. It's so much better than the um, original small size that they made. Yeah, I just don't reach for it. Maybe if it was in a different colour. Oh yeah, another factor is the colour and just the type of leather it is. It's very... Um, light? Yeah, it's very light, so I'm just scared of colour transfer. Um, and the grain leather, like, it kind of just gets dirty in between, I think. Like, what if are you I was, talking about? <laughs> like, when we first, when I first got it, Oh uh, yeah, I get what you mean. I had that yeah. kind of issue with it. Yeah. Like, not that it's dirty yet at the moment, <laughs> but... Um, it's pretty clean, guys. <laughs> it's clean, but... I don't know, there's a risk yeah. for me, because I just... I'm a little bit careless with my things, and like, when I go out on the weekend, I don't really want to have to think about just like, baby mm. in my bag mm. all the time. <laughs> The second bag I have on my list is this one here. Um, oh my gosh, just look at this is <laughs> viewfinder. It's beautiful. It's like my most prized possession. It is like at the it moment. is beautiful. <laughs> yeah, it's like literally the most important thing that you own. Yeah, and especially because Chanel has had a price increase oh, yeah. too now. Like these minis have gone up so much in price. I want to be able to use it more, but I think I just don't because of the leather. It's lambskin and also it's such a light colour so I just feel like I need to be really careful when I use it and so that's probably the main reason why I don't use it. And also Chanel I think is quite a dressy bag too so sometimes I find that um, I don't want to look so dressed up so that's why I kind of don't really use this Rich bag um, other than if I were to go out for dinners or um, events but it's so it's pretty. It's adorable and it's beautiful like mm. it's a really beautiful colour and yeah. Mm. I mean I got this about a year ago now and I've honestly only used it twice. Oh really? Yeah. I will definitely try and make a conscious effort to use it more I think because it's beautiful and I was actually contemplating on selling it at one point but now Does that, that I've realised <laughs> that it's gone up so much and I won't be able to get it And how anymore. valuable it is, yeah. I'm like, it's, it's staying. So the next bag that I don't often reach for is this Givenchy Antigona bag. I think this is the small... The mini. Mini. It's oh, mini. sorry, my yeah. bad. The <laughs> mini size. Um, I have mine in like a matte leather with shiny gold hardware. 
Like, it's a really cute bag. Cassie and Carmen have it in the shinier leather. It's, yeah, like a shiny calfskin leather. Yeah. Um, and we don't have that little extra detail here that Phoebe has. But same size, same colour. I actually use mine a lot. Yeah. I used it yesterday. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. For me, personally, I'm just too scared. Well, just because of the leather mm. I got as well, that's like a big factor. I'm just Because it's matte, yeah. it might be more prone to scratches. Yeah. Mm. It's like such a nice bag. And for me, I don't find it practical just based on my lifestyle at the moment. And I just, I just, I don't... I don't know. I'm lazy to like try and reach into my <laughs> bag for things, and I feel like the opening's not the good. opening is quite small. Like you kind of have to fiddle around with it. Oh, yeah, my zip, so tight. Yeah, yeah, my zip isn't very good to use. It could be because I haven't really used it much. Oh, you've got stuff in there. <laughs> yeah, so I love the style and look of the bag. Like it's adorable. I'll probably reach for it more in winter. I don't know because yeah, I think it's, it's like color. a darker color and mm. the style just kind of suits like that kind of wear yeah. a little bit more, yeah. but. I just think that it's really useful because it's such a small bag but it fits so much in it. It's a good like, size. Like yeah. it doesn't look too bulky when you wear it like mm. cross body and mm. stuff. It's different and I yeah. just think I must have just forgotten about it and I'm too scared to ruin it. <laughs> the next bag that Carmen is going to show you might be a bit of a controversial one. You ready? <laughs> so it is this pochette Matisse from Louis Vuitton. Oh my goodness. I... I feel really bad saying this actually. I didn't even think I would ever put this bag in a video like, like this, this because when I purchased this, I used this so much. It was like my weekend bag for the longest time. But I've had this for almost two, three years now. And in the past year, I just have not used it. Like, I think I've only used it maybe once oh, really? in the past year. I don't know. Like, I don't. And I you were so obsessed happens. with trying to yeah. get it, like before she had the bag. Yeah, it like... was it was so difficult to get. <laughs> I think I waited maybe like four months, and that's considered lucky. Like yeah. some people waited years. And when I first got it, I just used it every day because I was like, fit so much. It's so casual but dressy and I just loved this little thing where you could hold it <laughs> but like over time I think I've maybe felt like I fell out of love with it because I think it's too big now. I really don't carry much with me on an everyday basis and it's got so many compartments which is great but I just don't need to fill it up. <laughs> I feel like it's and so it's like such a good weekend bag though in terms of like how it looks like the style and the yeah, color. Like, maybe it was like shrunk down. A little bit? Would yeah, it be well, because we all like really small bags, and so if you just like cut that much off, <laughs> then <laughs> I'd, I'd love it. And also, the other thing is, I think this bag is a really nice winter bag. I feel like it's it looks quite nice just with like bigger coats, no. but I don't really want to use it in winter because of this leather. And if it rains, it will get stained, and so I just want to prevent that. and. Yeah, I mean, I think I'll still keep it. Yeah. I have contemplated on selling it too, but for now I will keep it in my collection and maybe just try and use it more because... Well, you might fall in love with it again. Yeah, and like... maybe it'll be my weekend bag again. <laughs> <laughs> and that concludes our video for today. We hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, leave a comment down below for the bags that you guys don't really reach for. I think just my choices for the things that I... Like the bags that I'll use at a particular time are really based on like my lifestyle at that time and what mm. I'm doing and like we're not really going anywhere right, right now, now exactly <laughs> we aren't going anywhere like I probably haven't really reached for any of my designer bags I literally yeah. just go to work come home and but this is also based on like the past year where previously we were able to go out yeah and those bags I really just haven't reached for so yeah it's just our honest opinion and we'd love to know what you have on your list too so let us know